Welcome to the Senev, for those of you who haven't been here before. Uh, my name is Jeremy Miles, and I'm a Minister for Education uh, and the Welsh Language, uh, and I'm a patron as well of LGBT uh, Labour, and it's my great pleasure to host this Terence Higgins Trust uh, event, and tonight we're going to invite Wales to respond uh, to the draft HIV uh, action plan to launch the 21st century HIV photo essay exhibition organised by Fast Track Cardiff and The Vale, and to pay tribute to one very special Welshman with the outstanding artwork of another. Uh, we meet not just in the wake of uh, Terry Higgins would-be 77th birthday, but just before we mark 40 years since his uh, untimely death from an AIDS-related illness. He was not the first uh, UK victim, but due to the bravery of his then partner Rupert Whittaker and his friend Martin Butler, who we are going to hear from tonight, because of that, he was the first person to die from an AIDS-related illness whose name we were given. Consumed by their grief, Rupert and Martin wanted Terry to be the human face to this little known virus, to give him a name to show us that the pandemic, which was at that time wreaking its havoc as it was in the gay community in New York and coming to our shores, that the pandemic was about more than news stories and numbers. It was about people, gay men with lives, with loves, with histories, with hopes. Terry was Welsh, born and raised in Haverford West. He served in the Royal Navy. He moved to London, where he worked first for the Times newspaper uh, and then for Hansard by day and heaven by night. <laughs> he would regularly travel to the US to find the best records to dance to in the clubs, the best records, by the way, to dance to in the clubs. Uh, but his journey ended cruelly early in St. Thomas's Hospital in 1982. He was just 37. We remember him and are inspired by his name even today. Rupert and Martin set out to provide care for what was then known as people with AIDS and to work on HIV prevention. They wanted to do everything that they could to stop new cases of what we now know to be HIV. That dream is now a possibility and here in Wales we've said loudly and proudly since 2018 that we want to end new cases of HIV by 2030. Uh, and thanks to the campaigning of Terence Higgins Trust Cymru and Fast Track Cardiff and the Vale, the Welsh Government has pledged to turn this aspiration into a plan. And the man with the plan is our first speaker tonight. He needs no introduction. Uh, his commitment to ending injustice and stigma is total, and his foresight in committing to a HIV action plan in the Welsh Labour Senate Manifesto last year is in many ways the reason that we are here. First Minister of Wales, Mark Trickford.